Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is galactic greed. So, not galactic greed. <laughs> it's not galactic ambition, it's galactic greed as galactic network. Now we are talking about something that, you know, might go beyond the limits of what you explored so far with your consciousness. And it's the idea that our universe, our reality, our cosmos, and especially our galaxy is populated by intelligent forms that have developed a form of consciousness that is permeating absolutely everything in our surrounding, in our solar system. It's a grid of consciousness and uh, that uh, this grid is inspiring us and we are connected with this grid all the time. So, this idea started emerging when I was in, in Egypt and traveling the world. I was in Hawaii, in different places, different initiatory places. And the, uh, the vision of uh, our galaxy being permitted by intelligent forms started emerging and now it has become my reality. So, in short, yes, I believe in aliens, <laughs> you know. Maybe not little green beings, but more consciousness forms that have been visiting the planet for a long time. And, um, the idea that we are like this totally isolated bulb, you know, um, on planet Earth and that it's like there is nothing else accessing in terms of consciousness and we are like the most powerful beings on, on this universe, it's like, that's pretty arrogant. And when we evolved to realize that the Earth was not the center of the universe, that actually the Sun was the center of our universe and that we were evolving around the Sun rather than the Sun evolving around us, that was a big step, right? So imagine that right now we take one step further and we realize that our, you know, our solar system is part of the galaxy and we already know that. But imagine that now we transfer in terms of consciousness, that we realize that the center of our galaxy is uh, what we call the galactic core and that there is a form of specific intelligent godlike or goddess-like energy which is permeating the totality of the galaxy and then giving birth to beings, life forms, civilization. Imagine that you have thousands or millions of human-like civilizations or races populating the galaxy. Some of that, them are based on planets, some of them are less evolved than humankind our humankind, and some of them might be millions of years more evolved than we are. Millions of years is nothing in the scale of time in the universe, right? So try to imagine where we will be as human beings in two million years. Maybe our consciousness will evolve to a point where we are able to transfer our intelligence from one physical form to another. Maybe we will have mastered the cycle of eternal life and realize that when we lose and we move beyond this physical body, we are actually able to take the step and move into the after livery arms. It's a really vast topic, okay? We are just starting to scratch a little bit the surface of that. There is no way I can cover even a fraction of what that means. And uh, the moment we start realizing all that, maybe our minds will literally explode into a totally different reality. Everything that we know might shift. Uh, the first step is just to realize, maybe there are intelligent forms out there that have been creating this field of consciousness, this network of consciousness that we call the galactic grid. This is a concept that I want you to maybe consider, integrate if it fits, if it matches you. Otherwise, just discard it and move to the next thing. Uh, this is not ideas that I'm forcing. I have no scientific proof to prove all that. This is intuitive research, okay? Galactic Grid. I'll see you soon again.